Okay, it's kind of late summertime. We're up in a high country lake, Bear River Reservoir in uh, this case, and we're looking for fish. We're going to try to find the thermocline because that's an important feature uh, that'll help you in uh, targeting. Uh, here you can see the bait up in the warmer water, and there's the thermocline down there. So how do we know exactly where that is? Well, we're going to Either uh, okay. use your fish finder, you can get kind of a good idea uh, on that one. You can see the color difference in it, or we'll do a temperature sounding just to give us some other information as well as uh, the actual thermocline, what temperatures are associated with it. Down the bottom, they're going to be resting almost right on the bottom. It's incredible that the surface temperature here is 70. Now when you're reading the temperature probe, you can see a dramatic shift, five degrees uh, change. And that is the demarcation of uh, the top of the thermocline where that temperature changed, where you got that stratified layer. Okay, thermocline at 30. Thermocline at 30. Yep, they'll have to be right on the bottom with the big ones. Very good. So there you can see uh, basically what's happening. You've got that uh, layer of, uh, strong layer of warm water at the top. In this case, it's around 70 degrees. Uh, that's just holding over the uh, lower layers. There's a lot of uh, nutrient, a lot of oxygen up in that upper layer. And then uh, transition layer, uh, and then your bait wants to be up in that warm water where there's a lot of nutrient form, a lot of sunlight. The bigger fish can't tolerate the temperature as well, uh, unless they're a warm water fish, but we're looking at trout. And uh, they're not gonna wanna be up in that 70 degree water for very long. So they're gonna be right underneath the thermocline and then down into their comfort zones where they're sitting and digesting. Uh, and in this case, they were feeding on crawdads, so they weren't needing to get up into that warm water to feed. Okay, so now you're going to watch the fish finder. If you see a uh, fish arch that's below the thermocline, fairly good size, you know it's a game fish, and uh, that's a target you want to move your bait towards, uh, try to uh, trigger a strike there. The steady lines you see going horizontally across the screen are obviously the uh, downrigger ball returns. There's a fish. Missed it. Why didn't I get that fish? Did that fish arch like that? Yep, that was that was one. In front of no, that's my uh, ball coming back up. So a lot of times this time of year, the fish will be tight on the bottom, especially the lake trout. Rounds two will do this. Uh, you got to watch real carefully to see uh, the arches or if there's not much separation from the bottom and be real diligent on uh, working your gear so that you don't get uh, caught up on some obstruction down there. Keep working those fish arches as you see them, try to come up to them, come down to them, work the bottom if you're seeing them on the bottom, and eventually it will pay off. They're kind of slow and cold this time of year because they're in the cold water and digesting, but be patient. Okay. So uh, from watching the graph, you can see a uh, few fish up and suspended and, and probably uh, commuting up to feed or commuting down from feeding. Uh, but they were uh, pretty reluctant uh, to bite. Uh, so I switched to the old standby, which is to uh, target the bottom and uh, hit the fish that are resting. And, uh, that seemed to produce pretty well. You got a German brown out of it.
There we go. Pretty. That's a nice big crop, huh? Okay, so here you go. If you're going to fish this time of year and you're trying for the lake trout, think yeah. low and slow and a lot of color, a lot of flash, a lot of smell. Using a threaded worm, live bait works particularly good. Uh, got about uh, 15 of these on this trip. Uh, this was a, probably one of the better sized ones, so not huge fish, but uh, good fishing and beautiful weather and nice and cool up there. I get a chance, it's a lake worth seeing. Tight lines. Hope you like this. Thanks for watching, and please hit the like and subscribe. Certainly helps me out. Thanks.